Hey drama family! Um, I'm back! Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for my next video of things that you guys um, might want to know. Um, so I decided to do my favorite special effects makeup, which is bruises. Um, I actually didn't know how to make bruises until last year. Um, and I didn't know when I originally decided I would do them. Um, I agreed I would help out the DUI Mock Crash by doing all their special effects makeup, and I literally have no idea how to do it. Um, so I googled it. There's tons of tutorials online, um, which will probably be better than this tutorial, as this is the technically the second tutorial, because I already made one and I deleted it because I forgot a mirror. Um, so it was impossible for me to see what was happening on my face with the camera in my computer. Um, I just couldn't see the colors. So take two, um, I'm going to show you guys two sort of different methods of doing a fake bruise um, that you can maybe play with at home or um, kind of do that. The first one is using um, cream makeup. So this is the makeup that you get on your face when you go to the fair and you get like a unicorn drawn on. This is actually just that. They do make fancy theater makeup that is specifically for bruises in much different tones. Um, but we are going to go simple. We are going to go with something that you might have at your house. Maybe not. Um, this is more akin to like Halloween makeup than theater makeup. But it works the same and the idea is the same. It's just probably not going to look as 100% accurate as it would if you were using the super expensive $40 for three colors kind of thing. Um, and so how we do that is we use a sponge. Now these are just cosmetic wedges. These are from Target. Um, they come like a million to a pack. We're gonna use one this whole time to do a black eye. Um, so one sponge, one makeup wipe, and some cream makeup. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, we're gonna just put some yellow. We're just gonna rub our little sponge in there. So we got yellow on there, and then we're gonna just put yellow on our cheekbone. And this is going to be the edge of our bruise. It's kind of our um, healing edge. Like if you've ever looked at a bruise and it kind of has multiple colors and the edges are usually a different color than uh, the main bruise. And why we start with the yellow is one, we know where our bruise ends. But also, um, once you have the, with a cream makeup, once you have the darker colors on, the light ones don't always show up at the color you want them to. First, we're going to take our same sponge and we're going to dip it into the red. So here's our red. Now, this is probably too bright of a red, really, for this. Um, probably, if I was going to do this for a theater show, I would use a much um, more maroon or darker red. This is like cherry fire truck red. Um, the only problem I have with these sponges is that sometimes you get the makeup on the little edges and then you get like edges on your nose. Um, so just be aware of that. Just fold pretty easily and just kind of dot 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 and then we're just kind of putting it all around our eye we're doing our black eye here um, and it doesn't really matter if you get kind of those splotches of skin in the middle um, because you're gonna kind of um, even them out eventually um, just getting kind of in our eye now we can take a makeup wipe and you can kind of get like on my nose. I got it all over my nose. So you can kind of clean that up. Now I kind of have a straight line, so I might do a little bit more just to keep it from bruises don't have straight lines. You don't see a lot of straight lines in organic material. So that's kind of our basic is we have some bright red and yellow. Now we gotta tone down that red. So I'm gonna use brown. Normally I would probably use something else. Um, but because we're going with this limited kind of color palette of things you might have, we're going to take the brown and we're just going to kind of go in little smidges around the eye. So as I'm doing this, I'm checking in the mirror because the colors aren't showing up in the camera as well as they are in front of me. Now this is toned down the red color, but now it's a little brown. Uh, so I'm actually going to take a brush. And I'm just going to kind of um, meld the two together so it's a little less brown on top of red and kind of more a muted brown color. Now there's still some red sneaking through, um, which is definitely what we want. 
Um, and then we are going to take, where'd my little sponge go? We're gonna take some blue. Now this blue is like a dark, dark blue. There you go. Um, and we're gonna put this under the eye, like right in this pocket, cause that's gonna make it look like it's really sunken in and kind of, uh, and then this will look even puffier, like it's, it's swollen. Um, so a lot of makeup and special effects makeup is playing with um, illusion basically where you're trying to uh, trick the eye into thinking something that is there isn't really, that isn't really there is there. Um, same with contouring. You're playing with shadows and light um, to really uh, make people think that your uh, neck is skinnier or your cheekbones are thinner right here. Um, and we're going to take some of that blue and we're going to put it on the upper eyelid as well, just for that continued kind of bruised look. Let me check my mirror here. Oh man, it is hard to do this without using a full mirror, which is what I normally would use. Um, I know we said the yellow probably went, but now I'm noticing my yellow isn't as dark as I normally have it. So I'm going to go ahead and re sort of yellow. I'm going to put some of that yellow. I'm going to blend it in a little bit more. So now it looks a little bit more puffy. Um, see the inner of my eye is kind of the darkest and it kind of comes out, which makes this look a little bit more puffy than my skin really is. Um, a great tool that I found using the cream makeup is it's really easy to use a stipple sponge. So a stipple sponge, you can kind of see it's material. Um, and what you do is you just stick it into, this time we're going to use red, you just stick it in there, you don't need very much, you need very little. And then you can kind of just stipple on, and what it does is it gives kind of this very irregular pattern that kind of looks like broken capillaries. So let me see if I can show you on my wrist without any other color. So there it kind of is, you just kind of stipple on like that, and then you kind of get this... Uh, kind of broken capillary look um, that is really hard to achieve with a brush, um, but pretty easy with a sponge, because you just sponge, 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 and it's random enough that as long as you're kind of moving it around, it'll look pretty random. Um, now normally I would probably go over this and figure it out. Um, for instance, I might use green, let's use a little green, to just sort of a uh, blend some of those areas that are the healing areas. I'm going to use the, the mirror for this so that I can see a little bit better. And that's because we kind of have that green tinge to things that's um, kind of going back to our normal skin color. So kind of on the edge of our yellow and the edge of our red. And it doesn't seem like it does a lot, but it does actually help to blend it in um, with your skin color a little bit more. Now this is not anywhere close to my best bruise that I've ever created. It's not very good actually. Um, but those are the basic techniques and like I said there's a million things online um, where you can find this same information. Um, but I wanted to share it with you guys today so that you didn't have to go out and look for it. Um, I'm going to do this eye with eyeshadow. So I'm going to use this big palette of eyeshadow um, to do it as well. And it's basically the same idea, but it might be a little bit more accessible. Um, someone in your family probably has some eyeshadow laying around. Um, and when I learned it, I learned it in a slightly different different method. Um, so we're just going to kind of do it the way I originally learned how to do it, which was what was this. And you take a brush and you put on the red. Now you could use a blush um, it actually doesn't matter if it's a really bright red, you're going to tone it down. It's a lot easier to tone down the colors when you're using um, a kind of brush look. Now, it's very subtle, so it's really hard for me to see how much I'm putting on um, without checking the mirror. Um, so it is a little bit uh, more important for lighting because it's not as bright if you use the the makeup and I'm trying like you can't even kind of like direct light at it but it's really really light compared to this side um so 
it's more about, I would probably use blush normally to get a darker red color. Um, I just don't have blush at home. Um, this is all my theater makeup stuff. This is not, you guys know I don't really wear makeup unless it's for theater. Um, so now that I have powder in my eye, um, but now that I have the red kind of done, you can kind of see it a little bit more now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a purple. So I'm going to take a different brush, make sure there's not another color on it. I'm going to take a darker purple. Um, one of the things you want to think, or a blue, one of the things you want to think about with powder is that you're using a matte powder and not um, a shiny powder, which a lot of uh, eye shadow has like a shine to it um, instead of being matte. And normally that's great. You want your eyes to be shiny? Great. Um, but having a shiny bruise is a little awkward. Um, so you might just want to make sure that you're not accidentally putting glitter onto a bruise. So I'm going to just take some darker blues and purples and just kind of put them on here. Um, and you can kind of use the brush to start sort of blending them in. Again, it's a lot more subtle here. I'll get closer. Oh, not that close. Closer to the camera. It's a lot more subtle of color than this side, right? This side's very saturated. That's because it's the cream makeup versus the the powder. Um, so you can also use your fingers with the powder. So if you don't have brushes, um, I actually find the fingers work pretty well, especially in these early steps, because it gets a lot on your finger and then you can kind of brush it into the places that you want it to go. So now we're starting to see that purple a little bit more. What is that light source? There we go. Um, and then anywhere that's too bright, you're going to take kind of a dark color. Um, I'm trying to use the mirror as my camera. What is happening to me? Um, you're going to take like a dark like black or really dark blue. And you can kind of just take, take your finger. Ooh, that is glittery. So I'm not going to be using that one. Um, I'll take this black. That's less glittery. Um, and you can just kind of put it. And the only problem with fingers is, is if you touch kind of with the little spot, sometimes it has a hard time spreading out because you have a little bit of oil or a little bit of um, anything. I'm trying to figure out what is going on right there. So I'm just taking um, a little bit darker to kind of darken it up under my eye. So again, that we have kind of the, the, the divot playing with those shadows to try to um, create kind of the edge. So now I'm going to take my light colors um, I can see which ones I've been playing with. And I'm just going to kind of put them on the edge, edges here of the bruise. And it's kind of hard for you guys to see, I think, on the camera, but clearly, you guys, I should not go into makeup tutorials is what I'm learning. Um, but it's kind of helping blend it into my skin. Now we're going to take actually a really, really bright green. I would say probably this green or somewhere in here. And it feels like that's not a natural color, but it actually ends up looking exactly what you want. Um, so we're gonna, just going to put that kind of in between where we put the yellow and the purple. And we're just going to kind of mix it in. And it just sort of helps blend out um, kind of all of the parts that would be blending in. Um, can I get closer? Yeah, there's my eye. That's creepy. Um, kind of blends it together. Now, I would recommend playing with this at home since you guys can't necessarily see um, what's kind of going on uh, with the powder. Um, but the powder does do a pretty good job. You would have to set it with a setting powder if you wanted to like walk around with it all day. Um, otherwise, it just starts becoming kind of a blur and you kind of just look dirty. Um, so not maybe what you want to do, but you definitely um, can use the powder, uh, especially if it's in on your arms or something that you can see a lot better. 
I personally like doing a little bit of both. Um, so I'm going to go back to this eye, which again, not my best eye, but that's okay. And I'm just going to kind of help with the powder a little bit to blend it in. So I'm going to use some of that bright green. Um, and I'm just going to kind of blend that in. Or did I just put the palette on top of my mirror? So kind of blend it in, take some of that dark to take out some of that red that was in my upper eye. Um, take my stipple brush because I could use some more broken capillaries here. And take, um, oop, I just stuck my whole finger inside. I'm actually going to take a bright white kind of give it a little bit more play with shadow. Um, so that's the basic tutorials of how to make a uh, bruise. Uh, the short and sweet of it is play around with it. Um, some of you guys might have these supplies at home. Um, other of you guys may not. Um, but we have them at school, so when we get back, if you want to play with it, great. Um, I'd love to hear more of what you guys want to hear, or uh, if you never want me to make another makeup tutorial, that's fine with me as well. Um, but I'd love to show you guys some more stuff, um, and let me know what you want to see, what kind of videos you want, and leave them in the comments. Oh, I feel like such a YouTuber right now. Or send me an email or uh, however you guys want to reach out. Let me know what you want. Let me know what you need. Um, I'm here for you guys. So uh, see you real soon. Bye.